Yori Yori does it. Yos! It's been a while. Right, um, we recently got the new uh, Switch OLED for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and the collector's edition one, this one was very very difficult to find. So um, let's first start uh, with the Switch unit first. So there's the box from the front, sides, I mean the back, sides, sides. Top, bottom, there you go. We'll flip the camera once we do the actual unboxing thing. Then, there you go, front from the collector station. Uh, compared to Breath of the Wild, the artwork here is horrible, just plain black. And some round thing here. Um, Ganon. <clears throat> so Ganon, they did some type of um, samurai style. Art mine mixed with mine thing. Uh, very simple. Um, the bread of file box is still better. But yeah, um, this thing is very, very expensive right now. So, and it looks like it's, it is sold, sold out. And you can get one, just buy it already because it right now um, online is, is priced around $2, 220 to 250 Anyway. Um, let's go switch it out. I mean, switch the camera. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's start first with the switch unit right here. There you go. Pretty good. It's got a lot of um, uh, circle things again. Gold, green. Pretty sweet, right? And then back. There's another one here. Um, the circle things again. It is embossed. There you go. Very simple. Sleek and clean. There you go. <clears throat> then we have the actual dock, which is right here. Um so far I probably the best looking you know switch dock. Um it's not embossed so uh, it's just flat. But um has a shiny look to it. Cool. Switch logo. I haven't noticed um if the original OLED had um the switch logo on top right here. That is cool. <laughs> there you go. Next is the actual collector's edition. Yeah. Very nice, right? <laughs> So I'm going to have to try and be careful with this one. Uh, we'll try to remove the one at the bottom. We'll get out. Of right. Uh, damn it. I, I hate this this uh this this type of um tape cuz it's like super glued to the actual box so when you actually peel it off it damages the box. Yeah, so that's what happened with the um, the original um, Red of the Wild Collector Edition that I had. Oh boy. Excuse me because I have the the flu. Crazy flu right now. It's happening in um, California. Probably all over. Super difficult to remove. Ooh, nice. Sweet. So first layer is the steel book and the, this is the pins. Yes. Steel book and pins. Then second layer is this just regular paper. Uh, I think this is steel poster. Artif Poster? Hmm. I wanted an art book. <laughs> so, at the bottom. Huh. Oh, okay. 
beginning, the beginning. Okay, the art, the art book is inside. The art book is inside here. Uh, game. Gang. Tears of the Kingdom. I like the Zelda games, but I'm not really um, a hardcore Zelda fan because I only played the um, Twilight Princess and Link Between Worlds. But I did play a, bit of, a little bit of Breath of the Wild. I never liked or Ocarina of Time or Majora. I like I like the one on the on the portable ones. Um, uh, Minish Cap was pretty cool. <laughs> so that's that's about it. <laughs> it's pretty fancy looking right there. There is a pin, something behind. It's fancy looking. Is there something underneath the side? Uh, probably not. It's not probably not in. Legend of Zelda. I think I paid around. The problem here is the the taxes in California is so expensive, so I paid around one twenty for this, and then they charged me an additional, an additional um, uh, five dollars for the shipping, and then an additional twenty five dollars for taxes. So it went up to um, or oh, whatever. It went up to um, to. $150. Let's first, uh, let's try to, uh, I do, I do want to see this poster thing. Uh, I'm curious. You guys can see it already. I don't. I don't really need to open this. It looks. Uh, yeah, it's a metal. It's a metal plate. Yeah, I don't need to open this. The usual stuff like this, they go to my shop. So. Um, when the value goes way more up, probably like around 300, that's that's the time I'm going to have to um, resell the, the merch, the item. <clears throat> then I'm going to the art book. So let's check out the art book. So it is laser printed in both. Very nice. Very nice indeed. First page. At the bottom. There we go. Nice. It's cool. Okay. It's pretty dope. Let's give me a link. Let's raise the camera a little bit. Backpack. There's a dope um the uh, owl mask or some type of um 
eagle or something. Hawk. Okay, that's cool. Armor sets are cool. Bag. What's up, art? Another one of those uh, Gerudo people. Fish. Huh. That's interesting. These are the... The... Is this the cuts or something? Why did they... That's interesting. They have the anatomy for this one. <laughs> Does it mean that this is the style that you cut it? The fish? Huh. Food. Cheese. Hmm. That's a cool armor. That's a cool armor. <laughs> the car can make tanks in this game. Another cool outfit. Ten. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> At this point, I was never gonna end this video. <laughs> Let us scan through it. What is this? A cool concept art book. <laughs> Female elf. Okay, we have here. Some art. I wish I can work for Nintendo and make artworks for them. <clears throat> okay, go. Enemies. Oh, the nerdy girl's back. <laughs> what? This. See that? It's Link, the Toon Link one, the different one. Hmm. I don't understand why did they add it. Um, interesting. Tough. Nerdy Girl is back. Okay, I'm just scanning through it because um, this is gonna take a long while. <laughs> there you go. Sky City right here. Concept art. Oh, it's the, uh, the the one that was they they got inspired by um, Princess Mononoke, and so this is like it's a frog now. Yeah, it's a frog. I do hope um for the next Zelda game I do hope they do some type of um semi semi realistic Zelda game on like Twilight Princess graphics but much more um much more berserk like remember berserk the enemy <laughs> Legend of Zelda. Next thing you know is that um, a lot of open world games will mimic this type of gameplay again. Um, especially that um, Gen Genshin Impact thing. They're watching. <laughs> They're watching Nintendo all the time. Yeah, especially that uh, horrible game. Horrible PS4, PS5 game, Horizon Zero Dawn. They're gonna copy Zelda. They always copy Zelda. One from um, the Guerrilla creators from Germany. And then Grand Theft Auto probably even copy them. Skull ship, pretty cool. Skull ship. That's a wrap. No idea if I'm still gonna make YouTube videos in the future. <laughs>